And we're live. Hello. Dr. Victoria Skirbo from the Seeds of Tra Transformation and Healing Center. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. <laughs> anytime. Anytime. So, any announcements or anything, Johnny, Jenny, Vicki? Anything? Uh, I've still got uh, appointments in April available for personal readings. If you go to jenlintero.com, uh, March is booked up, um, but there's openings in April. And then if you want to book my healing center website, um, healing energy uh, seminar, I should say, go to my website, uh, jenlintero.com, if you'd like to join us in Portland, Oregon. What are the How are you? What are the dates on that again, Jen? Um, June, oh gosh, <laughs> June. There's two different weekends. June 14th through the 16th, and then June 21st to the 23rd. Okay. Yeah, it's a Friday night, Saturday all day, Sunday half day. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How are how is the booking going along for that, Jenny? Almost booked uh, up, or there's only nine spots left on the first one, um, and there's about about sixteen spots open on the second one. Cool. The first one's almost booked up, sold out. Johnny's wrapped up his tarot class, right, Johnny? You got a new one starting in March? Yes. March 3rd. What you got uh, going on, Dr. Vicki? Um, I have a uh, Kabbalah class. We're having our last class um, this coming week. Um, and I'll be starting a part two. That's for people who've taken part one. Um, and uh, probably take a week off in between. I have a beginner's astrology class going on right now, and uh, I'm going to be doing uh, introduction to Kabbalah again in um, in May. In May, yeah. How many weeks is um, the class? Um, all classes are generally six weeks six weeks long. I have them on consecutive whatever day we choose Monday, Tuesday. Um, yeah. And uh, everything is recorded. You get all the recordings, of course. And um, it's a lot of fun. I, we, each class ends up being like a group of friends, you know. In, in fact, sometimes you end up knowing people in class more better than you know your family. You know, unless you look at your family's chart, which is always a, a good thing to do because it helps you understand why here why now and why these people you know that kind of thing i've read a lot about the kabbalah when i was in my 20s but i've forgotten a lot also it's like i would love to take a, a class on it again but i may have to wait till after my seminar and take the next <laughs> time you offer it <laughs> yeah yeah i can imagine i can imagine like it's been so long i like i i remember learning a lot about different angels and things from the kabbalah and um a lot of angels, which aren't in the Bible, you know, are, right. are written about in the Kabbalah. Right, right, right. I love angel energy. And cats. John, Johnny, <laughs> there was someone in the chat that was asking if you were going to do a part two for your tarot class. And I didn't get the name. I'm sorry. Jasmine, I seen it. Oh, you seen it? <laughs> I don't advertise part two because part two is not open. It's something I have to sort of handpick, if you will, because I have to take time with each person individually. And so I can only do five at a time or so. So it's, it's if I ever do one, you'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have the, the secret password and the secret handshake. If I do one, I'll contact you. <laughs> if you can get the right people together. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yep. Johnny's mystery school. <laughs> I like I it. do one, though, but we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> so, 
so um, for me, um, Johnny and Jenny know uh, my mom passed away a couple oh, weeks ago. I'm so sorry, Becca. Um, so if you've emailed me for for um, readings and I haven't gotten back, I'm just not. I, I can't do it do. right now. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. So I've been kind of MIA. Um, so please don't email me. <laughs> um, please don't. Um, I, I just, I just, I just need time, and that, that's all. So, yeah. but the, Brax has the been condolence. A the condolence emails we know are well-meaning and we know everybody cares, but they can be overwhelming because it's like yeah. thousands of them come through. So. Yeah. So, um, so I'm not ignoring the emails. I, it's just, I just, I can't do it right now. So um, that's all I got. So if I'm a little bit out of it today, I'm sorry. Um, hoping to lead on these guys because Johnny and Jenny have been just couldn't ask for better people. Um, so yeah, that's so all I got. Emailed, if you've emailed Becca and wanting a reading with her, uh, wait till she announces that she's starting to do them again, then email her again. Yeah. Right now it's just not the And way. if you emailed me, just wait, I'll get back to you at some point. This is this this is not this is my phone tech, but the other one is like leaking like teenage mutant ninja turtle toxic stuff out the back of it, I think. And so I had to switch to this one, but nothing is on it because it's like from 1915. And so I can't put anything on it. The text messages barely come through. The email will come through when it wants to. If you forget to put it on the charge then it's gone in like 10 minutes because the, the battery goes from 100 to it, I just put it on. It's 96 already and I just took it off. And so nothing is going in any way. That's what's happening with me and my telephone right now. And so just, just patience. So, uh, Vicki, I was listening to your videos the last few days and talking about Pluto going into Aquarius and the energy shifts. And you were talking about we feel it in our body and it's like, yeah. oh, my God, my left knee. You know, I have a little arthritis. My left knee has been driving me nuts. I've been having to do energy work on my own knee so I can get up and down the stairs. And my right shoulder is like, wow, you know, it's so true. It's like I'm feeling that shift of energy in my own body and stuff. And it's it's probably messing, I would imagine, with some of the electronics and things, too. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things in the airwaves, and uh, it, it seems to I don't and I think there's also some a lot of mass coronal ejections and and um, a lot of uh, what do you call those the sun cycle is very high, and that always sort of affects us because it it sort of electrifies our our atmosphere. According to one of my teachers, it means new souls are being born and brought into the atmosphere. Um, and we could use all the, the, you know, light, light souls coming in because uh, there's a lot of cleanup to do, I think. I thought it was interesting with that, you know, Pluto moving into Aquarius uh, when you were talking about our bodies, you know, have to adjust a little bit. It's a lot of air energy and it's, it's our bodies adjusting to it a little. It's like, wow, that makes total sense. <laughs> yeah. At least that's what I'm blaming it on because... It's, <laughs> In the morning, I'm telling you, a couple of days ago, every joint in my body hurt, every single one of them. I'm like, really? I, I know you have a lot of them because I've been a chiropractor for 35 years, but I didn't know what it felt like when they all hurt at the same time. So, yeah, I, I notice that when I come down my stairs because you know my house was built in 1862, so the the stairwell, the stairs are real narrow, the treads on them. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of have to turn your foot sideways going down anyway. But my left knee, you know, I was like hanging onto the rail again and working my way down one, one step at a time. My left knee was like, yep, no, don't put a lot of weight on it. <laughs> Sounds like somebody needs a healing energy work seminar. 
when they, I come downstairs <laughs> and I sit on my sofa with my morning coffee and I work on myself. And by, you know, after I work on myself, I'm up, I'm moving around, I'm okay. But man, when I first get up, I'm feeling it. When you uh, do the energy, do you notice the cats like are all over you? Yes. <laughs> um, it, every home except this one, I haven't set it up yet, but every home that I've ever lived in, I always had a healing room, healing meditation room. And I would set up like a little altar and my crystals in there, and my massage table and stuff. And the cats would always go in and sit there like, ah, <laughs> you know, like they, they would look like they were meditating and I, I would do candle lightings in there, you know, and invoke angel energy. And, um, I have a friend that was, uh, that's a psychic that said, there's like a pyramid of energy over your house. I was like, yeah, I get that. <laughs> Thank you, Mara. So feel free to jump in, you guys, because I'm just, I'm on the struggle bus here. <laughs> Doing my best. Keep you going. So um, the Trump sneakers, I guess that's the talk of the town right now. Oh, goodness gracious. $399 for gold LeMay Converse knockoffs. <laughs> $399 for made in China sneakers. Some guy bought some. It's for $9,000. <laughs> for some exorbitant amount of money. Took a picture with him and the whole thing. He's sitting there with them like, and I'm thinking, okay. Meanwhile, they're all screaming about how awful the Biden, Biden economy is, but you're buying a $9,000. Yeah, like, <laughs> He only has to sell 860,000 pairs of them to make up his, you know, 500 million dollars hole he's got. Where you I, going? I, I want to see what outfit you put together with these little golden shoes on, first of all. Second of all, you know when he got booed at the sneaker con and they start chatting, let's go. That's what I was going to say. He was booed off the stage. He was supposed to have a 60 minute speech and I think he got booed off after a couple of minutes. They were. They started. They started. The mentality saying, of the American first people buying the Chinese-made shoes that you're never going to wear. I. I don't I like. I just. It, so my question. My, my question to this whole thing is: When Jack Smith and Sam and Sandra Chutkin get done with him, what is he going to sell? Gold lame jock straps. I mean, what? <laughs> well, it? He, was I mean, already, he was already selling pieces of his. From oh, right, his suit, suit that he wore when he was for the mugshot, supposedly. He's got to buy 300,000 suits to be able to cut him off. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, and let him let it go ahead. Y'all want to spend $400 on golden shoes. Hey, man, I'm not knocking the golden shoes because I have a pair of gold Converse. You know I like anything shiny. So. <laughs> and I have a pair of the, the Converse with the sequins because they're like blingy and super crazy. But I would never in a lifetime spend $400 on a pair of Trump shoes. No. No. That's where you draw the shoe line. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not spending can, 48 cents on Trump anything. I can take myself right down the street to the outlet mall and get me a pair of Chucks for like 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I $400 on a pair of tacky well, I was talking to some people last night that we were like, sometimes I want to buy Trump memorabilia just to deface it. And then I'm thinking, I don't want to give him my money. No, don't give him the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. They, they're talking about the GoFundMe and chat. It's like the GoFundMe they shut was it down. illegal. <laughs> they shut it down. So my question is, my question is, how did Trump feel getting booed off the stage when he was trying to sell? Well, he's trying to sell sneakers and cologne. I think the oh, cologne is like 80 bucks. Something forty-seven or something. What, I forget what, what it is. What does that smell like? That's oh, does it smell like Trump? I, I mean, what? It, oh, the toilet. So oh, yeah, the toilet, toilet is right. smells like his toilet. <laughs> Trillium is saying cologne. Victory forty-seven cologne for a hundred dollars a bottle. Why is it forty-seven? Forty because forty-seven is president. president. I thought he was still president. Victory 47, that's the name of the cologne. So how, how did he feel getting booed off the stage in Philadelphia? Now, mind you, Philadelphia is in Pennsylvania, correct? Right, and they're going to rename and Pennsylvania. And he tried to overturn the results of the Pennsylvania election to install himself president. 
do, do well, I have that? He's saying if they don't elect him this time, they're going to rename Pennsylvania. <laughs> you know, I mean, the guy is just nuts. Name Pennsylvania. Did he ever say what the new name was going to be? Oh, I'm sure he'll make it something Trumpy. <laughs> he did not. They did found the not? same shoes without the T on them on T Move for seventeen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Who's more desperate, him or Mike Lindell, throwing everything out there? <laughs> they need to join forces. <laughs> So how did he feel getting booed? It's very uncomfortable. It's like being up against the wall. You can't go forward. You can't go backwards. You it's you can't run away because then everybody will see that you ran away. But at the same time, what else are you going to do? That six of swords is that you want the transition. You want to move through it. You want to get away from it or you want to just talk through it. And then there's the nine of wands back against the wall type thing. Um, he felt trapped. Caged in, sort of ignore it like it's not happening. But then again, at the same time, you know it is and you can't run away from it because... Where are you going to go? You Because, again, this is the person who thinks he's cheered everywhere because he had an administration full of people who were like, oh, my God, it's such a blessing to work for you. Is it also a blessing to fall off the cliff with the rest of the lemmings? I guess it is. When, when you only go to your own rallies, of course you hear cheering at your own rallies. You go somewhere in public, you know, you're going to hear the people. booze. Well, he pays those people at the rallies pretty good, you know. Yeah. Be there, so. You know, like a hundred dollars. I mean, if you pay me four hundred and fifty-three million dollars, I'll cheer for you too. I mean, since you you, you got to pay it out anyway, pay it to me too. I did, he was three. he was confused. It it threw him off a little bit, and um, he thinks that it was a sign that there's growing support for uh, Biden. Um, <laughs> so he looked at them as you know Biden supporters. Um, he felt bullied and pushed. A little bit, but um, it's 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 making him anxious. It's making him anxious. I got that he tried to like he's in his own little world kind of sensation here, but then I think it dawned on him that this is the death card and this. Where's my camera? I don't know. Um, so it did change something for him. Uh, he got a little depressed by the whole thing. Uh, and so now he's asking his his people, his idea people, to come up with some new fangled next next great thing, because you know he doesn't give up. Um, and it's such an uh, it's just a weird thing to do, I think, as somebody running for president, like to to fund yourself, you sell sneakers. I mean, doesn't anybody such see a great a real estate mogul? <laughs> Real estate mogul to, to hawking sneakers. I, I just... And pieces of a suit and God knows what else. Um, I get that he was up against a wall. Felt really small up against a wall. But then something in his brain clicked. And those boos he may have told himself were woohoos. You know, like... Because it, it's like he's, he's just... Nothing Turn like that boo into wahoos. Yeah, they're not <laughs> booing me. They're boohooing me. You know, like he has a scent out there already called Empire. It's a four-piece gift set. You can get it for fifty-four dollars. It's a blend of orange oil and jasmine with exotic tonka bean. If oh my gosh! What if, what if his cologne smells like all the shit that he puts on himself? That people were saying that he smells really bad. Oh, it's bronze. a mixture of bronzer, unclean diapers, <laughs> <laughs> hairspray. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that I know how to pick that out of here. But can we ask what it, what it, made? what the cologne smells like? Okay. <laughs> what it smells like? <laughs> I mean, we could just buy the bottle and do. But who wants to do that? Nobody. And I am I am being very uh, transparent. This is for pettiness, purely pettiness. 
as I Eric read them. and Don Jr. are just watching their inheritance go like by horses. the way. Smells like horses. Smells like horses and sweat. Of course, sweat. Dirty horse stall. Oh, <laughs> good God. You know, back in the ancient days, women used to bathe in horse urine because it's really good for their skin. Ew. So, yeah. I'll pass. Thank you. I don't know if that was true <laughs> or if that was just in a movie, but I did hear it somewhere. <laughs> Let's see. Um, <laughs> that kind of makes sense because I'm getting like desperation. <laughs> it smells like desperation. You smell that? Yeah, it smells like that. It smells purpose. like <laughs> like food, dirt, and diapers. <laughs> <laughs> that could be desperate. I mean, you know. <laughs> food, desperate. dirt, and diapers. <laughs> we have officially lost Johnny. <laughs> 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 uh, any other questions on the Trump shoes and the Trump cologne? Pull it together. Wait a minute. Um, I didn't realize he had so many here. failed businesses. Apparently, there's a list on Twitter Trump steak, Trump vodka, Trump board game, Trump university, Trump mattresses, Trump ice, Trump shuttle, Trump vitamins, Trump modeling, Trump princess, Trump mortgage, Trump success cologne. So he had two colognes. So the wait, magazine is, like, and, is the and Trump, Trump lawyers. <laughs> is, the Trump, is the Trump University on there too? Mm -hmm. I got, and the Trump charity too? Um, I don't know what it was called. Well, the charity wasn't supposed to be a business. It was supposed to be a charity for kids with yeah. cancer. Well, they turned Trump it out. Magazine, Trump <laughs> style, Trump Taj Mahal, Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino, Trump Hotels and Casinos. How do you bankrupt casinos? First of all. Trump Castle, Trump Marina, Trump Entertainment, Trump Casino, Indiana, Trump Travel Agency, Trump Net Telecom, Trump Tower, Tampa, Trump Empire Cologne, and something called the Paris is Out Musical. To answer, your, to answer your question, it takes a real talent to bankrupt a, a, yeah. a, a, did a it. casino, a real talent. <laughs> So the the GoFundMe got shut down because I thought it, was, it would. It was illegal, and when they, I guess, when they shut it down, they had like raised sixty five thousand some odd dollars. Mind you, that's not even enough for Melania's haircut or her hairdresser because that, that was one hundred and fifty thousand, right? So, who started that GoFundMe, and where the hell does that money go? Like, does the GoFundMe give it back to the people like, that donated? They they have to refund it to everybody that donated. Yeah. Refunds. There was so, a guy um, I was telling people once and I was talking to Umar Johnson is his name. I call him the Black Donald Trump. He just doesn't have any money. But they both try to run scam universities to pull people in and take donations and all that. He got his GoFundMe shut down and they tried to give the money back to the people who gave it. But if you say you had like a prepaid debit card or something that you paid with that or you donated some kind of way, they can't give it back. Then it just sits there until you claim it or it goes to GoFundMe. And then they just you have no choice but to keep it. Uh, the woman, I wrote her name down, I think. Because they're saying in the chat that it's at the GoFundMe is at three hundred forty-four thousand dollars. Four hundred thousand dollars. They keep setting up new ones. Grant Cardone said that his wife, uh, Elena. Elena Cardone, mm -hmm. set up one of them, and he was caught on fraud. So, yeah, you got a fraudster setting up GoFundMe's for you. I just can somebody please explain this to me like I'm an idiot. You have a self-proclaimed billionaire. That is asking regular everyday Americans to fund his freaking legal bills because he was found guilty of fraud. Yep. Make that make sense because I can't wrap my head around it. I can't, I can't. Like I just it's I not a it's not a reasonable thing. It has nothing to do with reason. 
it has all to do with he he inspires these people and I and they know. and he and he and they align with his victimization they feel victimized by life they feel left behind well, why in the hell would you give your money to an orange clown with a dead possum on his head use that money to make yourself better or to like advance yourself in your life mm -hmm. i just i don't i don't get it uh vicky i really don't because it's like well, they're looking for a savior they're looking for a savior and there's no yeah. such thing there's no such but thing Thank you, Ms. Katura, Joanne, and Catherine for the super chats. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Golden shoes. Golden now, shoes. Now, I ain't got nothing against golden shoes, Johnny. I told you I have a pair a pair of gold chucks. And they're I had some black and gold shoes I wanted. Now, mind you, they were 700 and something dollars because they were, you know, fancy pants, make fancy pants .com type of thing. Wherever I forget who even designed them. This was a thousand years ago. But no. <laughs> and they're tacky too with like the American flag on the top and a T on it. It's like Mr. These were spray painted. They look spray painted. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So my question is, how how is how is Trump because they were saying on the news that what he just got fined by Judge N. Goron, which mind you, is because of his own doing. If he had walked in there and just said, yeah, I fucked up, then it would have just been a slap on the wrist. But he went in there and attacked the judge, attacked the clerk, was disgusting, you know, just complete. Letitia James. He was acting an ass the whole time. You know? And that is like, this is the one person that has is holding you by the balls. And you're going to sit there and, and be a jerk about it? Like, he he made himself get that huge of a fine. He could have he could have just played nice and it wouldn't have happened. And even the judge put that on the on his ruling it, opinion. It, the judge even gave more power to the monitor, <laughs> like because he's got that monitor on it for a long time, and he he gave more power to that monitor because the monitor caught he's been lying again. <laughs> yeah. So so with the GoFundMe and everything, they were saying because of the the fine there's another 100 million dollars on top of it so it's like 400 the, the interest, million. 453 million because the it, every day he's accruing more interest because the interest goes back to 2019 on top of e Jean carroll's yep. 83 plus five or 88 plus five however much it was and on top of, there was a civil lawsuit that was brought by Eric Swalwell and other members of the House. We haven't heard about that yet. And the Capitol Police. So that's going to be... Oh, and then again today, he turned around and defamed E. Jean Carroll again today. I'm Which like... We said he would. <laughs> he, he, would he wouldn't he would stop. He's going to end up in court again. So th this guy's going to owe over a billion dollars worth of just, just in civil... Just in civil. Um, Stormy Daniels, is that not civil? Oh, my God. So Stormy true? Daniels is criminal. He can go to right. jail yeah. for it. It's his oh, first okay. criminal case. Oh, that's and, like another parents. And Letitia James gave all that stuff to the IRS. The state <laughs> and federal <laughs> IRS. Plus, if he tries to liquidate any assets, he has to pay capital gains tax on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, I mean, you talk about th this guy is his own worst enemy. Like, yeah. you know. So with the with the with the GoFundMe that because they were saying the the legal experts on TV were saying he can't use outside money to pay for this. It has to come from him. So even if they raise money from the GoFundMe, Trump technically and legally cannot take that money to pay off the civil stuff right he can't so, use super PACs to pay it off he can't use money from the republican committee you know that gives him money to pay for lawyers he can't pay this 500 you know over 550 million dollars he owes now between the, the two cases uh, it's it's funny because he claimed he had six hundred thousand in liquid assets in the court case six hundred million Cohen, 600 million in assets, liquid assets. You know, like he's got 600 million in the bank. Michael Cohen's like, no, he doesn't. He was including his PAC money and all this other stuff. He's like, he doesn't have it. 
he is going to have to liquidate assets to come up with the money for this. There's no other way. He does not have, you know, five hundred and fifty million dollars. So, so I how is he going to pay for this stuff? What's that? I think he has to. I think there's something called disgorgement. And now I'm not a lawyer, so you're gonna. Have, my my understanding of it is that they take all his assets and they sell them off, and that's how they get the money. He has no control over that. They just take it and sell it, and then they they put it against what he owes. I don't think he ever has any intention of paying any of it. Honestly, just oh, like uh, no. Giuliani, he doesn't nothing. Yeah, they, he doesn't. He doesn't worry about it because he's not going to pay it. Yeah, from the way it sounded when I was listening to Michael Cohen, like they may give him a chance to liquidate his own assets or something, um, because it is disgorgement. So I want to know: will the will the courts take over all of his real estate and liquidate it for him? Shouldn't rejoice in another person's downfall. How ever. He set this up. We just get to watch it fall. That's all. No, I'm not a good person. I'm not a person. <laughs> I to know about this till the day I die because of how he has how he has been beyond gross. To just the most just mind you, never mind his whole life, just in these last few years, you know, the past what six, seven years. That person deserves every horrible thing they got coming to them. Never all mind the all the other garbage he did before, you know, people like me were conscious of who he was. All the kids he threw in cages. Mm -hmm. All the people, contractors, workers, banks, everybody that he screwed over. No, I not not an ounce of sympathy from me. Uh-uh. So will they liquidate his assets? I wonder if they can liquid if they can take the money from uh, his wife, because I got the Empress come up. They I don't think it unless, he has, unless he has Putin for a loan. I don't know. Um, well, they he's been hiding money under Melania and Baron for like the longest time. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if they can go after them, but he's going to ask a woman to help him. Maybe his daughter, Melania. Or Ivanka. Or Ivanka or Melania. Here's a children card. So he's he's not gonna get anything from his boys because his boys are they they losing two million them. each too, I think. Yeah. One of them yeah. had four million and one a million or something. It's like they don't they don't have money either. Right. Uh, and <clears throat> thank you, Carolyn. Um Ivanka and Jared are probably like Trump who, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They've been saying Trump who since he since they left. Mm -hmm. They like they totally went like a different. He got his. Bus Did you notice bus. the boys got fined? That she did. No, but there was something in that thing from Judge Angoron, the the final letter, where he was, you know, where he was talking about how horrible Donald Trump was. But he was saying that Ivanka Trump, that her testimony wasn't kosher either because she couldn't recall anything, even when faced with evidence and her signature on it. Oh, I don't recall. I don't recall. I don't recall. So she ain't out of the woods. They talk one. about Biden's age and it's like these people have horrible dementia. <laughs> <laughs> I get that they will. They're probably already um and they will be going into negotiations, but it's going to be a long time. It's gonna it's not gonna happen next week, next month, next Tuesday. It's it's a while. They're gonna negotiate it, but it, they're gonna get what they want. So yeah, I get the yeah. empress on the, the bottom, too. So it's like there's an abundance of uh, money that they're going to go after is what I'm getting. But could be because that's my mother Russia card. Could be like a Russian oligarch or something he tries to get money from. But here he is. He's back to, from being the loser to the fool. And the plans are to go after him legally. I think they will make a move on him. It's bad news from him, for him. They're going to separate him from his uh, personal belongings. Um the, the kids, they're, they're like leaving him out in the cold. The kids are like, Trump who? Dad who? Um, but yeah, I get I get yes cards on, they'll go after all of his assets and do what they have to do. 
It will take a while break. though because I have the uh, hangman here. Ten of Cups world, they get family and friends. There is some sort of pulling from those around him. So not just his family with the Ten of Cups and friends, but his audience as well with the world card. Now he's not going to get $300 million from them, but the fact that he even got right now $400,000 from him is still too much. And this man told you he's a billionaire. Now he did say he's a billionaire depending on his mood, but still, and then there's the eight of wands and the six of swords. He will transition out of this. So there's a whole bunch that is about to be drained from him. Um, good. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Is, is, so, didn't Mary Trump also have a lawsuit against him for yeah, the money because he he brought her it and her her inheritance? Yeah, so that's <laughs> three. So more he's got that still. Like. Yep, and and Eugene Carroll will probably be dragging his ass back into court because he just defamed her again today. It's like this guy doesn't. A normal person would stop. You know, and like Vicky was saying, he has no intention. Like he just doesn't give a. Yes. Like he doesn't, he doesn't care. Have impulse control. He has no, no. impulse control. I mean, fuck. Well, I think I. You know, he's always been a bit delusional. I think he's gone over the edge here. And I mean, yeah. this is the only. This is the only game he can play. It's the only game he knows how to play. I yeah, don't. Think I understand what you're saying, Vicky. But to your point, like a normal sane person <laughs> would see that we just There's get a problem. <laughs> There's a problem, Becca. He's not a normal sane person. He's not you normal and he's not sane. He's no. mentally, he's really mentally ill. No. He really is. And he's been that way for a long time. He just got to do it on a much greater scale now that once he became president. And here's the thing. Another thing that's self-inflicted. Everybody knows that Donald Trump has been a crook, a liar, a fraud, and a cheat his whole life. Everybody's known that. He could have just walked into the presidency and just been a nice person. Instead, he went and took his two centimeter dick, orange dick, and shoved it in everybody's face. And then you, the, the whole world turned against you. He wouldn't have had this problem in New York. He wouldn't have had Even all these. Even Putin said in the Tucker Carlson interview, he'd rather have Biden as president because he's predictable. <laughs> you know, it's like it. He he brought all of this on to himself. He could have just been a normal, decent human being as president. No, he couldn't. He couldn't. You know? He couldn't go against type, honey. He is who he is. Yeah. It's he just is like he, if he would have been decent, none of this would have happened. You know, because I mean, he wouldn't have ran if for president. Been, if <laughs> just been, go stay in your life, and nobody was nobody was paying attention to your fraud before. And nobody knew about your finances. Finances. Bank. Everybody no. knew about his fraud. Nobody did anything, and then you go into the White House, and then you go and be a horrible person to everybody on everybody. the world stage. And well, the first what, flag what, on the play was he wouldn't reveal his taxes when he was running. Yeah. And if nobody would have been interested in your taxes, if he's you being just audited, the man. Private sector. <laughs> yeah, he's been audited for the last 50,000 years. He was being audited. I'll show you when the audit's over. Okay. Yeah, well, I, can we ask, will the IRS, the federal IRS, go after him and then the state? Um, well, we know that Letitia James handed everything over to the IRS, and the IRS is usually hush hush about all sorts of stuff. Well, so she I is doing her know. job. She better go ahead. I mean, so will the IRS go after Trump for cheating? On can we clone her and put her in each state? Can we do that, please? Because <laughs> mind you, this is the case that gets highlighted. She's going after some other company too, and then like she's got other stuff that she's doing, not just the Donald Trump. They just she's, want to play him. She's going victim. after the NRA. She's going after yeah. uh, Lafayette. Lafayette. She's doing her job. Yeah, she's so she. She's a, she's a force to be reckoned with. She is a force to be reckoned with. It's so good to see that women of color are taking Trump out on, on, on every every battlefield. I got a big old walk here. Does a, does a girl a girl's hard. 
Um, his children somehow, some way, get dragged into. I just asked for the IRS go after him. There's the Ten of Pentacles, family tree. There's the Six of Cups. There's the Chiron and Baby Chiron, the Chariot and the Nine of Swords. Yes, this is a long, slow, drawn out process because there's a lot to look at. Um, not necessarily because they just want to take a long time, but imagine somebody dumping eight million pie files and documents on your desk too. Um, I'm not a speed reader. So that ain't my that ain't my forte, but here's your nine of swords, you're worried, and then there's your chariot. So <sighs> will they go after him? Yes. And not just him, but there's some children involved in that too. Definitely. Yes. Def oh, yeah, sorry, definitely. go ahead, Vicky. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, that's exactly what I got. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, his what his boys probably in judgment. They're definitely going to go in. I think by doing that, they're going to start looking even closer at his kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. The we'll tax, circle back to that. That's question. Kids. I'm getting something's happening quick on all this. It's like because Letitia James here, it's it's already done. She's already completed it, transferring everything that she needed to, showing how he changed everything. It's just a matter of time, but I, I get a big yes. Um, his manipulations and in, in work um, and judgment's going to come on him. He's he's going to he could he could face jail time when it goes to the IRS. I got a big old whopping yes, but I got the garden here. Not just the Trump org, but that would be rallies or campaigns as well. Now, I know that that's a separate thing, but it was a slush fund. This has to do with cycles, you know, moon cycles. So putting everything through the cycle from the campaign or the rallies or the super PACs or whatever. Yeah. It, so it wouldn't, I don't think it's going to be just on his businesses in the organization. I think it's going to be campaign, finance fraud. Uh, uh, what's the... What's the uh, sneakers? <laughs> um, what's the agency that that over that over is it the FEC that oversees campaigns and stuff like that? Um, the election committee. Uh, yeah, it's 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 more than just his organization. It's anywhere where he has had a large group of people, or it's supposed to be for a large group of people. So for like the public, that would be the IRS cheating on your taxes, rallies, campaigns, that sort of thing. So. It, it's funny because I was listening to some Republicans like, oh, this is putting out of work so many people. No, Trump org was Weaselberg, Weaselberg's son, the little security guy, the, the Don Jr. and Eric and Ivana or Ivanka and Trump. They're, a little secretary running around here or there. Trump org oh, did wait not a minute. employ that many wait people. Wait a minute. Their excuse is, oh, you can't do this to Trump org because you're going to put so many people out of work. Thousands of people out of work. What about the millions of dollars that they that they have stiffed the federal government over the last God knows how many years because they've been cheating on their taxes? I mean, you can't. It, it's apples and oranges. No. Trump so, org like, in New York City in Trump Tower is does not employ that many people. Now, his golf clubs. Yeah, they got workers, you know, that, that groom the horses and all that and ignore Ivana's grave and all that. <laughs> so my next question is in regards to I Eat Paste and uh, Sniffy Jr. over there. Um, I'm not going to worry about um, Ivanka because, you know, her and Jared are sitting on $2 billion courtesy of the Saudis. Um but those kids just watch their inheritance just <laughs> disappear. Flushed you know, it. like flushed it. <laughs> the the I guess Michael Cohen was saying um, that one of the deals that Trump ever let his kids do in New York, I forget which one it was, but they all each got like a million dollars each. Well, part of this whole situation with Judge and Goron, they're taking that money back. So you made zero on that deal because it was on it was under fraud. Um, so how how did the first of all let me back it up are they going to lose any inheritance are the are sniffy and Dad, um, daddy bought their houses for them the, the houses are in their names but he bought the houses 
Of course, Ivanka has the most expensive house. Daddy's so, favorite. So did Don Jr. and Eric Trump lose just lose their inheritance? <laughs> yeah, be this be coming up with some golden sneakers of their own. Bible cups lost. Seven of Pentacles. Yes. <laughs> they ain't go they they don't have it. There's a lot of uncertainty and trouble within the business, and that money, that cash flow is blocked. Can't get to it. There's some kind of judgment that comes first, or some kind of judgment that's so that moment. means that I eat pace is gonna have to rely on Lara Laura's stellar singing career. <laughs> the Grammy Award winner. Yeah. She's gonna, she's gonna be bigger than, than Taylor Swift. Stole it. I get I get their blocked from from it in one swoop action. They are like this, oh my god, what's now? Um so the all the all the money that they work for has, they're moving away from it. Bad news for them um, and the business, and they're they're like on the verge of giving up. They're anxious. They don't know what to do. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. What'd you get, Vicky? Um, they're hoping against hope um, to say to keep their money, but um, somebody's laughing at them. Right. This is the Herophant. This is the government card. They try, they keep up a they they try to keep some stuff, but justice, just justice matters. Um, but you know what? On a certain level, I think it's better for them. I think if they can separate themselves from their father's uh money and maybe they can make their own money. I mean, they're not, I mean, I, I know people think they're idiots. Um, and you know, they're just they're, you know, they're kids who, I know they're grownups now, but they're kids who, you know, went all in with their dad. I mean, I know how I felt about my dad. He wasn't a criminal. He was a very lovely man. He was an accountant, you know, and all that stuff. But it's hard when it's family. It's hard when it's family. And they're like Stockholm syndrome, all of them. Yeah. So I think when they get away from their father, uh, from this whole thing, even if they have to start you know, at ground zero, I think that, um, I think that things are going to get better for them be because they've lost everything. Okay. If you know is like I mean. the only one that has done some businesses separate from Trump org. You know, well, and she made sure she married a, a, a billionaire. Yeah. She married, she, she was, she was the smartest one for sure. Mm -hmm. She was the smartest one, but of course she was probably the one who could w marry a billionaire. I mean, if you were a billionaire woman, would you marry uh, uh, Eric or? Uh, oh hell no! That name is trash. But that's what I'm saying. Ivanka was the best chance of 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 scooping up a billionaire. You know, you have to be like a model. I think there's yeah. like a whole organization that does that. You know, gets oh. gets really beautiful women to marry billionaires. Yeah. I think it's no, called. Like... I was going to say Charlie's Angels, but I think it's the other angel guy. Uh, or secret. I think it was that was the Victoria's Secret pipeline, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my my next question, staying on the Trump train, Eric Swalwell and all the members of Congress that are that have filed a class action lawsuit against Donald Trump for endangering them during the riots. Um, will that civil lawsuit? Because we haven't heard anything. We just heard that they filed it, but we haven't heard when it's set to start or anything. So will it will it be successful? If somebody passes, does is it over? Like if Trump leaves the planet, then is it over? Or do they... they I don't I know. I feel like he's going to go... They could that. sue the estate... Yeah, my what is Vicky? Vicky, that's that's always what been. Does he have anything? That's always been my thing, and I think Johnny has said it as well. That 
he will be getting tickets to the park before he transitioning, sees transitioning transitioning anything before, that comes to you know judgment before uh, before the fight even begins. I think the very first time I did cards on Trump on uh, on on YouTube, this was the answer. It was the Eight of Cups, and this has always been to me it's just walking away, no matter how much you know energy is put in. He's really, I mean, he's here to wake us up. I mean, he has a function, and it's and it's not for us to make money off of him. I think, or you know, even get back what was owed to us. I think he was really just here to wake us up to uh, just how just how rotten the whole system is. And he was well, in the system. No way. So anybody knows. <laughs> the 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 former RNC chair, Michael, whatever his name is. Steele. Michael Steele was on Morning Joe the other day ripping into Republicans and the Republican base that's all on board for a dictator. And they're like, pick up a damn history book. It's not what you think it is. It never works out well for people in a di dictator. Like he was livid. And it's just like, how the hell are people this stupid? I mean, he did say he loves the uneducated, but like, look at Russia. Do you think the citizens are happy? Or do you think the people are happy in China? Like, you know, it, 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 like the my home country, Cuba. People aren't happy there. They're living off of freaking grains of rice and dirt, you know, like, but for some reason, these idiots think that it's going to be the best thing in the world. And what they also fail to realize is usually when an authoritarian person comes into power, they come and take your guns too, idiots. Like, do you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, they don't, I don't know what planet these people are living on. At some point, even the Trump supporter will get tired of oppression when it's you and you realize you are the one also being oppressed. Right now, they're, they're drinking the Kool-Aid. They, they're infatuated still. But eventually, you will realize that your life has not improved and he had no intention of improving it. Yep. And then, and only then, will you maybe wake up to the fact that by then he'll probably be long gone and you've moved on to the next person who talks just like him. It's the mindset that you have to change. Your your life is already, it sucked back then, and it sucks now. He's not trying to help you, but you don't see that, but I understand. Um, will they're successful? Will they be successful with the suit? Not really. The Nine of Wands, Four Swords, there is some pressure, and it sort of stalls there. Uh, there is an opportunity, however, to get some sort of testimony. There's a group of people here with the Ten of Cups and then the Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity, and then the Hierophant it happens. This is because this is a bigger issue than you endangering us because a whole lot of things went wrong on that day. And so it's more than just him. It's what about the security? And what about this? And what about the buttons that was taken out of it? So there's a whole big thing. So it is an opportunity to get information, which then could lead to some sort of success later down the road. But this individual one looks like it stalls out. I get that it's trouble for Trump. There's the House trouble and then Trump from members of the I, House. I had the, like it gets blocked because he may transition before it can get far enough right but i do think they're gonna one of the things that trump does do is he tests all the systems right oh um, yeah. where, there, where there's weakness we know where there's weakness now and we can shore that up we can yeah. shore that up so i mean in a way he's doing us a favor it just it just they're doesn't feel like a favor Support the blue, but hey, the uh, the Justice Department is wrong for going after Republicans, <laughs> you know. Well, and, and you know, they. I don't know what would be the solution. I don't know if that would require a constitutional amendment or if it's going to be left to the voters, which kind of scares me because just seeing how many idiots are out there that support Trump is kind of scary, you know. But the thing we're... The Constitution, in my view, like Vicky was saying, that um, he tests all the systems. Well, in the Constitution, that power lies in our elected officials. 
So if our elected officials are totally on board on a coup d'etat, well, where the hell are the checks and balances then? You know, you're relying on the goodwill and honor and integrity of an individual that is power hungry. You know, and so that's, that's and that's they're, they're getting paid off. It's yeah. not just Trump; they're getting paid off by the the um, the Coke the Coke brothers, the Coke and, brothers and Pharma, and, and it's Coke. it's what is that? Citizens United, right? It's yeah. the dark yeah. money. I mean, it's the plutocrats. But yeah. you know, I mean, Pluto's in Aquarius. We're in the Aquarian age, guys. If you are up on top of the heap, good on you. Just like the last time, off with their heads. That's why we're seeing like a rise in unions, also, right? Vicky? That's right. That's right. It's all. It's it's Aquarius is an energy of raising all boats. It takes the top and it and it flattens everything out. And it's not as stable because there can be a lot of like everybody's got their own little group. Um, so I think. What we really have to work on is talking, even if we don't agree with people, we have to start, we have to start opening the lines of communication and do what Obama says, see what we have in common and work from that place. We all want a better life, whether you're a Democrat or you're a Republican or you're a Trumpster, you all, you want to have food on the table, you want to have shelter, you want to feel like you have an opportunity to rise up. And a lot of the people that follow Trump have been down for a long time. And part of that has been uh, the way the system has been set up. It, it's set up for the rich. Yeah. It's set up for the All rich. That and trickle down economics. We're still waiting. Yeah. You know what trickles down when the rich people piss on you. That's about yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Nobody believed me when I was 19 years old and told them that this was the end of the world as we know it. When, when Reagan got in, everybody thought I was chicken little. Except my husband calls me by my Indian name. Sky is falling. <laughs> so my next question, steering off of Trump, a judge has rejected an attempt to toss indictments against Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. That means Paxton's securities fraud trial will be set to begin April 15th. He has been under indictment for nine years and has been able to evade it because he's been attorney general. Meanwhile, this is the son of a bitch that went after that lady that needed to have an abortion to save her life mm -hmm. and went after her. Mm -hmm. Make that well, make this sense. Is, this is the man who used uh, government funds to keep up his... Uh, his mistress. Girl, his mistress in Austin, Texas. But he went after a pregnant was... woman that had serious complications and was in need of medical care. Yeah. Okay. So, so what happens to Ken Paxton? Will he be, will he be convicted? Cause he's already been indicted. He's been indicted for the last nine years. He's got several indictments from what I understand. This is the first case. Mm -hmm. So will he be convicted? Yeah, that's right around the eclipse time. <laughs> and the eclipse does go over Texas, by the way. The back end. <laughs> so much exposure happening. I just, I just can't with the grossness of it. I really can't. The Republicans in Texas tried to get rid of him. Yeah, the and then Donald Trump had that whole lobbying campaign, like you get rid of Ken Pax and I'm coming after you, and then all of a sudden, oops, nope, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, brother. I don't know what this fraud case is on. Like, is it if it's securities fraud or business fraud or whatever? But Carol, if you don't like my shuffling, mute it. Sorry, Jenny. What? 
I don't I don't know what this fraud case is on because I uh, didn't read a, uh, which case this was specifically, but I get they're going to have victory over him. And there's like a network involved. There's a whole lot of corruption that's uncovered in this yep. case. A yep. whole lot. Yep. All the details coming out of who partnered in it. This is bad news for Ken. It's like, boom. Stealing, stealing funds, and there, there will be an action taken against him. So, so what are I don't this right here doesn't tell me what what this one is for, but he's got the indictment for securities fraud, right? Oh, that no, this one, this one is on the securities fraud. It says that means uh, Paxton securities fraud trial begins april 15th so this one's for securities fraud so what is that one for um was he insider trading or something that's securities fraud right yeah i don't i don't know the details i can't speak to that it's, i've read it but it's been so long i don't remember the details y'all can help us out in chat we we have a bunch of people from texas that ten of swords at the end but a lot of people, a lot of the people that he got money from, all those connections are going to be exposed as well. They're going to be exposed as well, which they're not going to like. You know, they don't like that. I mean, this guy is like, a, a, I think he's a drunk too. I think yeah. that was one of the reasons why they wanted to get rid of him because he was, he was on the, the, the floor drunk. Yeah. And, you know, as we know, drunks don't make the best... Uh, Politicians, mayors, uh, mayors. Rudy Giuliani, look at him. It's going so Lawyer. well for him. <clears throat> what did you get, Johnny? Uh, what did he be convicted? There's, I just get that there's pressure upon someone to do so. So it's like, don't let him off the hook this time type of thing. So... That's what I get. I don't get the conviction. I only pull five cards. For entertainment purposes only. Uh, he might, um, I don't know, magically disappear before he can, before these things can be exposed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was, um, yeah, I was reading the chat trying to see if, um, he was kitty kisses was talking about he was tied to that real estate guy that was in austin too and the real estate guy is already in jail oh really so, yeah that he was tied to that he had done get, some criming with i get he's some out of there success some is with. he's up against the wall he's isolated right Herman there says he faces two first degree felony securities fraud charges each carry five to 99 years in prison and one third degree felony. Yeah, but go ahead and tell women what they can and cannot do with their own bodies when you're not a doctor. Please. Like, by all means. You know what? Tell us about it when you're in jail. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the whole Republican star witness against hunter biden alexander whatever smirnoff or whatever the budget king has been indicted yes he has a russian oligarch was their star witness but he lied gave false <laughs> to testimony to the fbi now he's busted the the whole thing is just blowing up in comer Pyle's face and jim jordan's but you know so wasn't another person indicted as well? Didn't they have two witnesses that have been indicted? They had another one that was indicted to, uh, that lied. Um, and then uh, what was that guy, McG McGonagall, the guy in New York that was oh, arrested also? Yeah, that was like feeding information in to Russia or somebody. Yeah, my God. yeah, that's now that's an interesting because that was connected to Comey. Uh, uh, yeah, call me going after uh, um, Hillary. That was connected to that. I think he pushed Comey. He was like, "Yeah, you should do that," because he was pretty high up in the Justice Department. Um, so yeah, that's what these guys are doing. They're they're just 
relying on all their little uh, connections to Russian oligarchs and you know, Nancy Pelosi over. said it. It all comes down. Now, I don't agree with everything Nancy Pelosi says, but she said it all comes down to Russia, and, and I'm starting to believe that's true. The stable yeah. income, that's all they ever wanted. They don't care where it is. They what was that, Johnny? Said so destabilization. That's all he ever wanted. He didn't care where right. it was. But but I just don't understand how you have an entire party of the government that is privy to all sorts of classified information that us and the public are not privy to. They have to know the sorts of dangers they are putting our national security at, at risk, as well as our allies, as well as global destabilization with what they're freaking doing. But yet, as long as I can stay in office and make a few more million, I'm all for it. Like as if when it, when the shit hits the fan, they will suffer no consequence. Like I just don't understand the mentality of that. You are actively putting our country at risk and that of our allies for your own selfish bullshit as if you're not going to suffer right along with us when everything goes to crap. You know, let's not forget the special counsel that was investigating Biden and, and Hunter and Burisma and all that was put in place by Barr before he yeah. left. This is a Republican, you know, Trump appointed special counsel that was put in place. And he's coming out and saying this Russian guy lied, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. So my question Why is... Why did it take him so long to figure out he lied? I mean, this investigation's been going on for years. Barr had to know it was all a setup. Like, of course, oh, Barr here, knows here, all kinds of stuff. Barr's Barr covering knows. his own big fat behind. Yeah. Barr knows like, where, where all the bodies are buried, that guy. He knows where all the Mr. bodies Epps. are buried. So my, my question is, where does this go now? Because all of their star witnesses are just, oops. Yeah, the, the Biden impeachment. Oh. Yeah. So, so where's the where's the Biden impeachment go now? <laughs> oh. It's just trick losers. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how that keeps coming up for him. How it just shifted. For for who for Comer Pyle or for, for Donald Trump? How he's how he went from in our cards, at least me and Jim, he went from four to five of cups all of a sudden. Well, isn't that what the lady on the Fox News got? Yeah, to? and that's how he's been coming up for us too. I mean, Jim was getting it before, but it, it was like, think, featured on Trump Fox changed. News. That's like who he is. Like, <laughs> loser, such a yeah, loser. So, I, so the I question, get there. They're talking to Trump about, and saying we're going to have to rest this case, you know, on impeaching Biden because, you know, we're not going to have the support that we need to move forward. Um, there's not there's not enough. There's not enough votes to push forward the impeachment. Um, they're stuck. They're stuck. What was and what America's were you asking? Watching. I, I was asking what's going to happen with this impeachment thing. And, you know, since they're taking all their direction from Trump, they're, you know, there they are consulting Trump right in the middle of the loser talking to him. No, Vicky was asking something. What were you asking? No, I was, I just, I just wanted to know the, the question. The question? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I got it. I got it now. Um, well, we're just going to make up another lie. There's the three, <laughs> the three of them. The janitor has all the information. The janitor. <laughs> we saw it in the trash can. And the broom closet with Colonel Mustard. It's like there is <laughs> the three of pentacles, the nine of wands, and the high priestess. They will get together, three of pentacles, pressure and strain because they're behind Biden and everything. And then there's the high priestess. There's a new agenda. There's the Republicans with the Ten of Pentacles. And then there's the star. Then just do it again. I mean, it's because, I mean, when you think about it, though, that's what they do is you make something up. It doesn't work. So you make something else up. 
Right. You lie. Yes. Climate change is not a thing. And then when they said it was a thing, then they said humans didn't do it. And so it's like you just you just add something else to it. As well. January 6th wasn't an insurrection. It was Antifa and Black Lives Matter. Yeah. But the political tourists that we yeah, should now and, and, and make it make sense, Johnny. Now like they're they prisoners. themselves into gaslighting. It's like, okay, if it was Antifa, then why do you care about uh, what's her name, Baba, uh, Ali, uh, the lady that was shot mm -hmm. yeah. January 6th? That's what I'm saying. Ashley Babbitt. Babbitt. Ashley Babbitt, yeah. thank you. They went from Black Lives Matter, undercover FBI agents, and Antifa to political prisoners. It never happened, but these people should be pardoned. Mm -hmm. They were tourists at first. Pick a, Pick a fucking lane yeah. because I'm getting whiplash from all the bullshit, you know? <laughs> I'm getting that they're just the house is just going to keep manipulating stuff um, mm -hmm. to get coverage on the media to get media, and they're just going to keep talking and having hearings. But they it, they're very small. For now, George Santos's seat, the child, small. George Santos's seat on that special election went to a Democrat. So what is the total of the? Um, well, they they only uh what's what was the guy's name um that they impeached what uh mallorcas mallorcas he only got impeached by one vote they rushed that through before that dim got sworn in you know before uh -huh. he got elected because they knew they didn't have the votes for that yep well they tried to impeach him so, when the dude was in the hospital and then they got pissed off when he came out of the hospital and and, and rushed in there in his hospital gown with no shoes they tricked us they yeah. were hiding a Democrat. Like, really? So, I mean, get, get, have fun going back into the, to the minority after November. So my next question, with all this stuff about Hunter Biden and Burisma and all these people being indicted by the FBI, um, Fox News, Laura Ingram, Sean Hannity, all these people have uh, Maria Bartiroma have done nothing but lied about Hunter Biden. Will Hunter Biden file a defamation lawsuit against those individual anchors and or Fox News? Because they know he filed lied. one, right? He already filed one. Has he already filed one against Fox News or, or an anchor? It, it wasn't Fox. I forgot who he... I thought he filed a defamation against... I think did they file something against the guy who shared the the uh, the information from the computer? Because that's illegal. Yeah, they yeah, they a, they sued that guy. Yeah, that was they sued that guy. But the thing is, Fox News. I mean, they're still waiting on the on the stuff with um, smart Smartmatic. But their anchors keep lying about a private citizen. And here's all the evidence that all that it's all made up, you know. So I'm just wondering: Is Hunter Biden going to sue Fox News or individual anchors for defamation or Congress people even? Yeah. Well, I think that there might be something about that that protects them because they're sitting right. in Congress. Which isn't right. Defamation should be defamation regardless of your... Because if that were the case, he would have already sued the crap out of Marjorie Taylor Gang Green for showing his naked pictures on the House floor. You know? So... I get one person who may have a conflict with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Cups. I don't know who that is, though. It's not a person of card, necessarily. Uh, there's the conflict in the Six of Pentacles, because it could have been a person who shared info. Um, but I don't see, like, suing Fox or anything like that, but he does have some sort of conflict with whoever that was that gave out the information. I think he will take on Fox News eventually and, and try to uh, rain on their parade. 
um, take an action against the network. Um, but I get he's blocked right now from Biden, like he's telling him, wait, wait, wait. Um, right. So yeah. I, I think he's telling him, wait till after the election um, and then go after them, take legal action. Um, you know, because this is his image that they have tarnished here, that they have like put under false things. But I think he's he's waiting till after the election to do anything. He's kind of holding his own in the meantime. What did you get, Vicky? Well, I feel like there's definitely cause, and I. I just don't know. I, I, don't, I think he will, but again, I, I don't think it's going to be soon. I don't think it's going to be soon. And I'm not even sure it's just going to be him, if you know what I mean. I think it's going to be um, like some sort of like organization, group. You know what I mean? He's not going to do it on his own somehow. Um, and then I think something will, will come of it. And even if he doesn't make money with it, uh, maybe do something so that you that can't happen again. Yeah. Like on some level that that, that gets prevented. I think that's even more important to him because I'm not even sure that it's a it's an issue of, around money just to stop them from being able to do stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That's what it feels like to me. I mean, they the, still have the, was, is it Smartmatics or Dominion that still has? They have suit? Smartmatics still. They they settled with Dominion. It was like 700 and some ridiculous millions of dollars that they had to pay. Smartmatic is still, I think, making its way through the through the courts. But you have an, their entire business model is lie, defame, and lie. And then when I you go. I think they're all going to go. And then when they, they go, they might all go. Listen to what we say. We only talk for entertainment. So and, that and then when I it's revealed, they lie. They don't comment on. It. They it's like they they start talking about another lie to deflect from it. But yeah. Then, then, they, then they start they start they start singing. That's entertainment. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, we don't do news. We do entertainment. Oops. I get. Right, I that get guy. Yeah. Um something about like he knows what's happening and certain secrets that are revealed or private matters that are revealed, but he, he's going to be successful, but it's, this is like a change. So it could be the change of seasons or when there's another change, you know, but it's, I, I get a yes because they keep elevating it. They keep bringing it up and bringing it up. And then, you know, it, the Hunter Biden laptop, the nude pics, the, you know, making fun of him because he suffered from addiction. How many millions of people in this country suffer from addiction and you don't see them plastered all over the, you know what I mean? It's just, it's gross. It is so gross. It's, it's like a Fox news is worse than Jerry Springer, you know? I mean, it is bad. And then, but then they were Christian. Okay. So, um, my next question, Fanny Willis, I didn't see the stuff that happened. I just caught a clip of her, like when she came in hot against mm. Trump voters. Yeah, she was wearing Barbie pink too. I thought. It was oh, pink. really? Barbie. I pink. saw. I saw the clip. The power she, color. <laughs> I saw her. I saw the clip where she was like, "You have me confused. I'm not the one on trial. The, That's right. you know, the person that tried to steal the election." So, but I had heard that that whole hearing was just like a poop show. The one I heard one of the guys that was making the claims that she had an affair was let go from the firm for sexual assault. And then the other one that made allegations against Fannie Willis, she was let go from the firm for some other stuff, you know. So it just sounds like disgruntled previous employees that, that you know that are out to get her why does it always seem to be the case it's like you got those those like the marjorie not marjorie's but the mats and the jim jordans who have their own sexual deviancies are all like they're targeting hunter and then it's like you got your own stuff 
And then the projection is just way too much for me. The guy, the guy um, that brought it up, that started working with the Trump team with the allegations that she, that Fannie Willis put that prosecutor on so she can make money off of him when they take down uh, Trump was let go for sexual assault. And then another one where he supposedly sexually, allegedly sexually assaulted a client of the firm, a lady oh. named Rodriguez or something like that. And it's just like, I just think it's rich that we have lawyers badgering these two prosecutors, right? About their personal life, which is not, none and nobody's business. Uh, for somebody who's been found guilty of sexual assault. Please make it make sense. Make it make sense, Vicky. And then had affairs with, like, he was cheating on Marla with Melania. He was cheating on Ivana with Marla. It's it's like, come on. And, and, then, right here. and then the whole thing was like, well, there was something about $100 that Fannie Willis made or something like that, that she paid back. And it's like, you guys are going after an attorney general for $100. Meanwhile, homeboy Clarence Thomas in the <laughs> Supreme Court has taken how many millions of dollars worth of fucking trips and, and undisclosed that, that is mama's house properties? <laughs> make it make sense. Because if you're going to do that to a black woman, do it to the black guy sitting in the highest court. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, I just... My with the Batman supervillain friends, Harlan Crow, and all these different people. Yeah, with the freaking Nazi garden, you know, but please, let's go after Fonnie Willis for $100. I mean, it's oh. like, I, I don't understand it. Um, so, um, I, I've never gotten that Fannie Willis gets removed from the, the case, but can we look at it again? Will she stay on this, on this case? Cause they're doing everything. They removed her from that other case in Georgia. There was a case in Georgia that she got removed from for a person. What, what did that guy do, Jenny? He was, um. Was he one of the fake electors or something? But then Fannie Willis got removed from the case because she had donated to his political opponent. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see that one. So that case is still not going anywhere because there's not a, there's not an AG or a prosecutor or whatever. I mean, I'm surprised the judge even had this hearing. Because he does everything very transparent. He, he televises everything. You, know, you can watch it on YouTube. Um, I, I'm surprised he even entertained the hearing because it had nothing, their personal life had no, no bearing on the case. Yeah. And there was no evidence presented to the judge that proved that there was money gotten from this. It's just incredible. It's incredible that they're going to go after a black woman for shit an orange man with a dead possum on his head did. Plus, a Supreme Court justice, mind you, Clarence Thomas was also accused of sexually assaulting somebody before he was appointed, you know, whose more, wife more was... Than one. Yeah. More than yeah. one woman. Yeah, yeah. And, and Brett Kavanaugh as well, now that you bring it up, Vicky. Yeah. And on top of that, whose wife was involved in the coup d'etat, in the insurrection, mm -hmm. but let's go after Fanny Willis. Well, she can put him in jail. Yeah, Farmer I guess she. I guess she's stuck there. I guess she's stuck. You know, they're going to keep tarnishing her image to try to you know do her in and and burden her. But I I guess she is there. Um, the the work they did on the gifts of money all fell apart. Like there's no proof of it. Um, the judge is looking at um, um, the the relationships and the evidence and everything. And I get Trump loses. I get him both ways. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's what I see. I see she's gonna win, <laughs> and we get the tower there in the middle of it. So. Trump Tower. Boom. There it goes. Vicky, did you see the pictures on Twitter? 
I saw them before we went live. Everybody was outside of the Trump Tower in New York with those big going out of business liquidation sales. <laughs> I love New York, man. I'm telling you, Spirit of Halloween, it'll be there in October. <laughs> oh my God. The memes with E. Jean Carroll Tower. And <laughs> <laughs> this Trump Tower is only worth $60 million, so they could literally just give her the whole tower. <laughs> That, that would be great, that. and then she would turn it into like a homeless shelter, and a, and a place for battered women. Russians out of it, and and, uh, out of it. It's 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 this. This is what karma looks like for all of those when he first got elected, and you wanted to see it happen. We all wanted to see different things, but karma didn't ask you. It said, "I'm going to show you some things, and this is what you get to see." Period. E. Jean Carroll, 88 million. Letitia James, 450 million. It's, it's Stormy Daniels got what, five or something like that. And then Melania gets the rest. <laughs> he loses everything to women, but those are the people he treated the worst his whole entire life. So that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, page of Swords, Page of Cups. There's negative news, a bunch of gossip, lies, that type of thing. The Page of Cups would be sort of the um, surprising news that may come that there may be some sort of handoff that happens um, or something like that, because I get the hangman. So she's not going anywhere by force. This would, If she left at all, this would be her giving it to someone or turning it to some other person in the office type of thing. Because I get the five of swords, so it's like there is an ultimate defeat in the end. So if she leaves this, then this is something she wanted to do, six of swords, because it becomes a distraction. But this is not something she's not going to be forced out, I don't think. I get a no lies, but she gets what she desires from wise uh, wise decisions. So, so the judge is going to be like, yeah, no, you're, it's all lies. It's lies. So no. you know, my favorite memes that came out last week through all this, because uh, Alina Haba was just having meltdowns on Fox News and OAN and everywhere. It's like. My favorite meme was still waiting for Eileen, uh, uh, Alina Haba to fake being smart. Because, <laughs> you know, she'd rather be pretty than smart. Please start fake being smart now. We'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jenny, um, Johnny, can you guys go ahead without me? I need to take some medicine and mm -hmm. have an allergy problems right now. I'll be right back. Okay. Um. I want to look at will Trump appeal this New York case because there's some kind of like little traps the judge set in there to kind of block him from being able to appeal it. Uh, will he try to get this case appealed? One of the things is he'd have to put up like a hundred million dollars just to take it to appeal. Just pay it. You're a billionaire. You said you're worth what three or four billion dollars. Drop in the bucket, right? Start selling all your properties that you aren't paying taxes on anyway. The fact that I paid more taxes than he did. <laughs> Most of his properties he bought in the 1980s, so the capital gains tax is going to be huge on them. Huge. Especially if he values, sells them for how he values them. <laughs> Will he be successful in appealing is what I asked. And no. Um, I technically, I mean, well, doesn't really matter what I would do. I wouldn't even go for this. Like if I were advising him, if he came to me for a reading, I would say no. Here's what you should do. Pick up cans. They'll pay you 10 cents each here in the state of Oregon type of thing, because um, there is the Seven of Swords, so there is the scheme, and then it ends in the Nine of Wands. This is just adding to the pressure and strain. Remember, these are just the fines we're talking about, not the stuff that you have to pay the lawyers, not the travel fee that you've got back and forth to everywhere, not to mention you're still trying to run for president. And then it, so, that it, so it's all, it's just a lot, and I would just advise you to just cut some of that out and be a little more conservative. Be a little more frugal, even, if you will. But the Ten of Cups, Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, whoever that woman is, does not help you whatsoever. So cut that out, too. 
nine of wands again pressure and strain so he's not going to successfully appeal anything maybe appeal to his supporters but that's about it well here he is <laughs> coming up again here he is his plan is to just keep talking about you know the bad news and what was done to him and, and to be all anxious and everything um i think if he won the presidency if he won the white house i think he would appeal then um or if he's also waiting to see what the higher court the supreme court does with his immunity um thing so if the supreme court sides with him on immunity i think he would appeal didn't he withdraw that case did he, he, he they're they're hearing on the immunity okay so i think he's waiting to hear the outcome of the supreme court hearing um yeah he's uh, he's 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 not going anywhere with the appeals <laughs> Bless his heart. i get that he's gonna put up a, a stink this is the nine of of wands so he's gonna act like you know you can't do this to me but then i get the hermit so it's like he does that and then he disappears <laughs> Then I get the the seven of pentacles, unfulfilled success, I think it's called. The Lord of unfulfilled success, which might as well be his mantra from now on, no. or has always been his mantra. The three of swords, the Lord of sorrow, and then the two of um, pentacles. Uh, the, there may be something that it reduces the amount for some reason. I don't know how we would do that without appealing. Um, I, I don't know, but there could be a, some reduction of something. Um, and I don't know how that works because I'm not a lawyer. I can't imagine somebody telling me you owe me 450, four, excuse me. I don't want to owe nobody $450, let alone millions of dollars. I feel like I should just leave this card out in the middle of his first card <laughs> for the rest of the time. This thing keeps coming up. What did it look like in this day? The Five of Trumps. That's what it's called now. <laughs> Five of Trumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay. What did the Simpsons say about it? Did they have that in any of their programs? <laughs> <laughs> that is uncanny, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. And also, the, um, the, the other show uh, that we used to watch when we were kids, the Twilight Zone episode about the uh, the snake oil salesman and the name was like Trump, but it wasn't Trump. Do, do, did you oh, ever see the? Huh? I I haven't seen that one. I'm gonna have to search on YouTube for that one. Yeah, yeah. The the, uh, the Twilight Zone with the with the the the, the uh, huckster that comes in and runs for office of some sort. Somebody also said that uh, that what was um, the the uh, the book by Stephen King where that happened um somebody came and um oh, i can't think of it it was one of his earlier books where the guy runs for president and he he sees a vision and does anybody know what i'm talking about the the uh i don't remember but i remember that uh that andy griffith movie i forget what it was called where he was like a huckster kind of guy that ran for office and got his come up and the name of that uh, book. It wasn't The Shining. It was the Face in the Crown is the oh, movie. I'm going to go through all of them. Griffith, who was the con artist who runs for local sheriff? Face in the Crown. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, I had a question. Let me find. Um. What other fundraising efforts will they come up with for Donald Trump? Because he still has his GoFundMe until that fizzles out. He still has his campaign donations. He has his new sneakers. He might. He did the NFT again for a very short amount of time for some reason. Um, so what other thing might he do or might he have to raise money since he can't take it out of his own company because he's being watched 
what, whatever he does business wise, he's going to have to do it outside of New York <laughs> through one of his LLCs out of Delaware or something. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> he can't get any bank loans from any bank that does business in New York City. Well, hello, Wall Street. They all do business in New York. I thought it was any bank that got its start in New York, but that's not it, right? I, I thought it was something like that. But again, I'm not a lawyer, so I hear things and I make stuff up in my head. <laughs> They're saying the Stephen King book was The Dead Zone. The Dead Zone. That was it. Thank you. I was just looking it up on Google. Christopher Walken and Martin Sheen as yeah. a politician. The dead zone. Yeah, that's about right. What else is he going to try to grift? He should just start a little Trump circus with little clown cars all over it. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think he's done, man. I get the Lord of Ruin and the Hermit. Mm. Ten of Swords and the Hermit. <laughs> I like that other name better. <laughs> the Lord of Ruin. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Well, whatever it is, it's corrupt. <laughs> of course. I'm going to say eclipse glasses. You know how he looked directly at the, the eclipse? <laughs> like oh, str God. something that, that protects you from strong sun so you're not burdened. <laughs> something that he should about? use personally, but but he, he didn't. What are you guys reading on? What what will be the next grip? His yeah. next pair of sneakers, like his next. <laughs> oh, whatever okay. it is, he loses money on it. <laughs> oh, oh, I honestly don't think he has anything, anything left. But you know, I guess it could always be something. He's going to sell Trump scale crows. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> so gardening tools, birds that you put out at night, Trump scale crows. That's Is it full of hay or shit? Yeah. That's the question. <laughs> I get there's some sort of like um, divorce services or something like that. There's separation and the six of swords like something that they could use to help a person separate and move on there's not more services but it's it's like events for for marriages and, and breakups and and that he's selling out marilago i guess event spaces but they're themed though they have well, like the last one looked it. like a bunch of old hoes. <laughs> it was all old women. That's they're gonna like have a lot. We're gonna see a lot more of that because you're going to rent out spaces, and then he can make small appearances for X amount of dollars or something like that. So he's, I guess, selling himself, if you will. Thank you, Which Brandon. Is good to see you. Yeah. Hi, Brandon. Thank you. That, that party was something else where it was all these older women that it's like, oh my God, they've had such horrible plastic surgery and way too they much look makeup. Like, and they look like trailer park. Dresses. They look like trailer park strippers. All of them did, dude. Like, 
big old hair up I, here, boobs out I to here. I think trailer park women would look a lot better than these women did. <laughs> it's like it was like a drag queen show gone bad. So, oh man. So I guess there's a. Did everybody go? Yeah, um, I guess there's uh, an election coming up in Kentucky. Um, Aaron Marshall is the Democrat um, going up against James Comer. Oh, um, like a special election? No, in the or, just the, the election. Uh huh. Okay. The so one. Aaron Aaron Marshall um, is he going to win the election in Kentucky? What's his name again? Aaron. Aaron Marshall. Aaron Marshall. No, it's stolen. I get Comer's going to win. Yeah, I get that it's stolen. Taken away. Thieved. Yeah, it should change. It should be the Dem moving ahead. Um, the support is there. It's a lie. He's blocked. It'd be great though, because that Comer pile is just he makes Jim Jordan look smart. I think Jim Jordan is just a better liar, probably. Yeah. Well, I mean they're he... asking they're asking these people to lie and to make stuff up. It may not be their nature to naturally do that. And so Maybe that's a good thing, you know, for Comer that he's not that he's terrible at lying and making stuff. Doesn't go up. on TV on the news. And but when he does, he mouth. talks so fast that it's almost like impossible to stop him because he's just he sounds like an auctioneer, you know. So, but I'm I'm with Vicky on that one. So, um, get yeah, Johnny. I don't know. Ten of Wands, Five of Swords. Murder and defeat. It also may be that his, his his constituency in that area, there might just be more Republicans. It is Tennessee. So we do our... Or it could be like how they've drawn up the maps, too. You know, right. So... Can we look... I know it's early to be looking at elections, but can we look at how... Um, Sherry Johnson's going to do against uh, Marsha Blackburn, Mad-Eye Moody. <laughs> hair, hair she, would do, she would do well getting a transgender friend because that lady looks like she takes a, a fork every morning and sticks it in the freaking electrical outlet and somebody stands there with a can of hairspray and just sprays her head because it's just like... So are like, we asking if M Marsha Blackburn's going to win? Yeah, Marsha's the Republican that's a mess. Uh, Sherry right. Johnson is the Democrat that's running against her. So are we looking at versus versus or who? How, however you want to look at it. Will okay, Marsha right. win or will Sherry win? Okay. Marcia. However you want to ask. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. They just had a white nationalist march right in downtown Nashville over the weekend. Are you serious right now? Bunch yeah, of nice flags and everything. My whole thing was take the mask off. They had mask on. Take the mask off. Where you, know you, you, you know why? Because they know that they would be ostracized from society if they did that. 
they would be fired from their jobs. They, no, mm -hmm. they would. That's what they did the first time, and they all got fired. And then they. Uh -huh. we, but that's why. Oh, that's why they put the hoods on. Oh, okay. Thank you, Lisa. You want to be gross, but in secret. Look, Gloria you. Johnson. Sorry, I, can't, I said Sherry Johnson. No, thank you, Beth. Oh, Gloria. Oh, Gloria. Gloria, Gloria Johnson's running against her. One of the Tennessee I love three. One of the Tennessee three. Yeah. Yeah. Gloria Johnson. Sorry. And they're they're trying to say Gloria can't run against Marsha and have her name on the ballot for the House, the State House, because uh, right now she's got her name in two places on the ballot. But the men in Tennessee were allowed to do that. The Republicans were allowed to do that, but not Gloria. They're giving her a hard time. I get Marsha Blackburn wins. But... Like it's almost like by a small margin, but she's the one that gets it. Very small number. Very small. <laughs> I think it all has to do with what kind of money is backing who. And I think probably Blackburn has more money back in her. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. But it is kind of close. I I get it so close it goes to court. Oh. I get like there's there's a court case on it. Um, kind of blows it up because to me it looks like Gloria does win it, but it goes to court and gets blown up. Hmm. Something changes through the courts. Y'all got to watch the space because like there was a great video. I think it was on Brian Tyler Cohen. Uh, with um, Mark Elias talking about what they're doing in Arizona, trying to um, mess with the manual of how to have fair elections, which they review every two years, and the Republicans are trying to mess it up so that they're not consistent in how they uh, handle their elections in the different counties. So since we're getting, I know it's only February, we're halfway through, almost into March. Elections are right around the corner, I think. Um, certain states will be starting what this summer i think um so considering that donald trump basically bankrupted the rnc they're about to take it over and vicky was saying that they only had eight million cash on hand so forget down ticket ballot people you're on your own homeboys not to say that they couldn't get a bunch of donations. <laughs> donations from private interest and all these other places or what whatnot. But how are the Republicans going to do in the election overall, the House, the Senate, and at the state level as well? If Trump gets his way and little Laura gets in there to run the RNC, the the billionaires are not going to be donating to it because they know the money's not going to get to their candidates. So they're going to start funding them like separately. Right. Yeah. Um, they're going to backdoor it in. They don't want to put money in Trump's hands. So how will Republicans in general do? I get the Lord of despair and cruelty. <laughs> the nine of swords. That sums Lord up the GOP. That sums up the GOP perfectly. Despair and what is it? Despair and cruelty. cruelty. Yeah. So not good, huh? Not good, no. I did a reading on this however long ago. It came out today, mind you. And this was, it, it showed basically instability in the tower was the second card, I think. Um, it does get a, an infusion in donations in the end, but the tower is built on sand, faulty foundation. It will crumble down because there is something, I forget what else I said, but something happening basically to where you're focusing all of your efforts on one thing. And then out comes Laura saying, yes, everything is going to be directed to Donald Trump. And say, okay, that sounds like a really bad idea. You should do that. Yes, absolutely. Hi, <laughs> baby doll. Um, I get uh, like the young voters are really going to affect them. I get their block from a lot of donors, 
Um, they've got judgment sitting on them for the, the work that they do and the dark money and crap. Um, so, it, it, you know, when they're looking around, it's, it's not looking good. It, it's just utter chaos all around them, and the chaos is going to grow. Um, I do get a lot of young voters are really assessing um, them, and a lot of their seats are going to change. It's it's not looking good, and any anyone that you know is trying to side with Trump, not good. Um, how, will, how will they do? How will they be? I get the three of cups. There is your celebrations, your reasons for celebrations, that type of thing. Your little happy group there's the four of cups too there is something where you're going to have to accept what is because you don't have any power to change it now that is never really well sometimes it's true but some most of the time in these cases it's not but if you feel as though you don't have the power to change it examine why and you let this man take over your party. You let this man poison your party. You let this man ruin the reputation of your party. It was already kind of sucky in the first place, but with Democrats. But now you're messing it up with other Republicans. And now you're messing up the art. Like he's destroying everything he touches. Quit letting him touch stuff. But you know what? You go right ahead because it sounds like a really bad idea and you should do more of that. So mm -hmm. there, there is that four of cups. You can't really change it. And then the hangman and the hierophant, they are stuck when it comes to government. They need a perspective change in order to be successful. And in the end, they will see their, the world card is about learning your lessons. The will of fortune is where your lessons start. The world card is where they complete. They will get here, but not in this cycle. This, this takes time for you to get here because you have to go from the pool all the way here. So you have to go through all the ups and downs. And, and, and they're not there yet. So... He's going to mess it all up. I get the growth and transition gets dwindled away and taken away. So have fun with that. Have fun going back to the minority across the board. Can I well, ask I one that, question on this too? Um, it has to happen. Go ahead. I'm sorry. What is the internal dynamic like of the RNC right now with Donald Trump basically handpicking people he wants to sit in powerful positions, including her daughter-in-law. Like, she's not the head of RNC, but she's way too close to decision-making for her to be there. She's not qualified for none of that. So what is the internal structure like with this? I was, you know, now that you're saying that, Johnny, I was talking to Jenny before you came on backstage. The RNC is a private institution. It's a corporation, right? It's like a it's not a government entity. Right. The guy that just got booted out of New York and fined hundreds of millions of dollars for defrauding businesses. You're going to let that guy run the RNC? Like, couldn't he do the same thing in the RNC that he did in New York? That he the does everywhere. Yeah, that which is fraud. Everywhere. Which is fraud. So then, like, it might not happen next week or next year. But how long before the RNC is in a world of trouble because of fraud, because of the people that Donald Trump handpicked when he took over the RNC? Like, it's just, it's, but John, like Johnny said, that sounds like a great idea. Go ahead. <laughs> he, he blesses everything he touches. So let's see, the internal dynamic at the RNC. And I think one of the people that he's picked at the RNC has, isn't, Aren't they indicted because they were one of the fake electors? I don't know who the people. I just seen her name and thought I just saw Laura Trump. Laura yeah. Trump and two other guys, and I think one of the two has been indicted because he was one of the fake electors. Oh. I mean, you know what you do. You, if this is what you want, you go right forward. Uh, two of cups, nine of cups. Here in the beginning, there is the um, image of perfection. 
The Nine of Cups is everything you ever want. This is your wishes, your desires. The Two of Cups is your business deals, your cooperations and bonds and things like that. So it looks like we're hitting the ground running. Everything is good. Everything is great. Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. We're having great conversations. We have a plan going forward. Remember, though, this is all for the benefit of one person. And so there is another Republican guy um, who's running for office. He announced he's running for office. Matt Gates said, yes, I'm behind this guy. Then he drops out after one week because Donald Trump supports his opponent. And so this guy drops out after one week because the head of the RNC in that state told that guy, um, this is a better chance for us to take the Senate. So we need you to drop out. And he did. So it has a ripple effect, not just there, but everywhere. And if you want to do everything for that one person, you go right ahead. Uh, the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, again, Republican card, and the reason for celebration. And then there's Five of Swords. It all mm -hmm. comes crumbling down in the end. So this is not the person. He's the bully. He's the person with the underhanded tactics, the heavy-handed tactics. If you keep letting him do this, this is all you're going to end up with. So go ahead. Go right ahead. Like, what's going on at the RNC? <laughs> <laughs> death and destruction they've got to change it's like they're being very naive about the women's vote um they're you know not getting the the donors that they used to get um they're getting constricted um there's a lot of fighting going on so there's no leadership um it, i just get like sacrificial lambs here like they can't get anything done even in the rnc um and you know, blocking um, people from coming in that would do a good job, that would help them. So I get it's the party of losers. <laughs> Five of Cups, man. The party of losers. <laughs> Bless their hearts. <laughs> I wish I could get cards to stick to my head like they do you, Johnny. <laughs> I love it when you stick a card on your forehead. And <laughs> have Earl in your forehead this winter. <laughs> you already went picky you got the right i i didn't go it it looks like uh it's still a viable organization when it starts um but then it ends with the the lord of abandoned success again the eight of cups, <laughs> eight of cups coming up. so uh again i i feel like you know i think lindsey graham was right we let this guy in, it's going to destroy us. And it's, it's destroying it on, I mean, there are the, I know the Republican party in places like Michigan is, is bankrupt. They don't even have money to give to the, the candidates. So if there's no money for the candidates, Trump can't get money from the big donors anymore. They're all giving it to Nikki Haley. So I think the Republicans are waiting for like 2028. Uh, actually, I don't, I think they've, they've, thrown in the towel and there's a lot of uh, uh people that aren't coming back uh, in the house so the house is definitely going to go to the to the democrats maybe the maybe the senate you know there could be you know it could be close in the senate but we still have the vi the vice president so she might still be the tiebreaker i think it's going to go all the democrats way and it's, for, and it's for the democrats to mess it up after that which i don't think they'll do um if they're smart, if they're Don't smart, but I know we were asking about the RNC. I, I think he's just, um, he's, they're not good. <laughs> it's just not good. It's not good in any, in any way. And, uh, you know, I guess it, it needs to be reborn. The whole, the whole Republican. Um, I wonder how long that's going to take though, because they keep dying on the hill of national abortion bans when the over half of the country is like, no, but they're like, we are going to die on this hill, national abortion, blah, 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 blah. Because abortion is murdering babies and somehow it's not healthy. No, it's, it's because they're getting backed by the evangelicals. Exactly, but That's it's like all it is. a third of the country. How is that a winning message? You know, so I don't, I'm curious to see when they're going to get a clue and wake up and start backing away from these horrible 
policies that they're standing on that are so greatly unpopular. Like trying to you be know? Christian white nationalists. So it's like, yeah. yeah, it's not going to work for you. Um, the internal dynamics at the RNC, I get that it's pretty good until it gets to here. Isolation and the law. <laughs> you know? so Going to jail. It's, it's good. It's successful. They've established what they wanted until you go to court or you go to the law and you're isolated. So that's what I get. And um, I guess we have time. Do we have time for one more question? And I want to make it petty, Johnny, so you're going to have to help me here. <laughs> have to... So those ugly ass, tacky Jews. You can't tell me he picked that shit out himself. No. Oh, no. sure he did. Gold. Exactly. Like, like All he does is take pictures with things. But see, this is those are shoes that like kids would wear kids that watch like i don't know hip-hop videos and do dancing and like when i see those shoes i think of like boys that dance <laughs> am i making are you picking up like, what put the american now? flag on like, there so hopefully the white nationalists will wear them <laughs> can you imagine a proud boy wearing those tennis shoes <laughs> Well, here's here's because here's my thing. Okay, um, <laughs> these these grown men and or women buying these shoes. First of all, where are you going to go in those? I mean, you can go. You know where you go wherever you want to. You can go to Walmart, your favorite place. He used to sell drug and urine kits too. That was also in that list. Oh my god! On, on Twitter, <laughs> it's like yeah, that failed. I mean, how do you screw up a, a urine test? <laughs> the buyer's remorse. How long does it take for that to set in till you realize that you basically just bought nine ninety nine Payless shoes spray painted gold? Like I just, just okay. you you couldn't. I I couldn't do it. Like I said, I will take my ass down to the outlet shop and get me a $20 pair of freaking chucks on sale before I spend $400 on ugly ass high tops. $400. With $400. So I guess, I don't know, like we know he didn't pick them. Who picked out the shoes? Who said, these are great, let's sell these? Be best. Melania probably. <laughs> or Kimberly, would he ever wear them? <laughs> I think he picked him out. I think he picked him out. I think it was him. You think it was him? Yeah, get the Emperor and the Magnus and the Chariot. Yeah, I think it was him. I think he said, Yeah, these are great. They, they like had prototypes, and he's like, I like those the shiny gold ones, like his toilet. With the classified yeah. documents inside? Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that toilet wasn't gold, just the one in his, no. <laughs> his bedroom. Used to be. Well, if you just want to fly on out, you go right ahead. Found some woman created, and he came along and said that one, please. Um, he, however, would not wear them, though. There's your king of swords, the knight of cups. They would ruin his little precious image, knight of swords. It, it wouldn't go. He has to <laughs> He has to be pretty. Oh, he has wow. to be. <laughs> it's a picture of him, him, and it's like real close. As you can see, like this part of his face is orange, and then this part is like Irish white. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, bless your heart. You don't have to tan. Be who God made you. But he has to be pretty. He wouldn't wear them, though. I want to see that. I get he was given a choice. Um, I do feel like a, a woman came up with them, like gave him a whole bunch of options to choose from. But I get, you know, businessman Trump, the boss, he's the one that got to make the choice. Um, he, he thought it was a good image to go up against Biden. I don't know why he thought that was a good image, so... Maybe he's trying to attract more celebrities that wear things like funky lame shoes, but no, you Jenny, know what? You're, 
your celebrities aren't Usher and people like yeah, that. You just got Kid Rock. <laughs> Air Rock Jordan. is not wearing gold to me. <laughs> Johnny, how much are the Air Jordans? Cheapest is seventy nine dollars. And why then would you get way up from there? But you don't so have why? to spend three hundred on Air Jordans, though. That's what I'm saying. Why would you spend four hundred dollars on an ugly ass? tacky ass pair of shoes when you can get air jordans for way less like well, like 150 mind you you can buy gold air jordans too i get somebody on his team that found them abroad on on the internet <laughs> because you know that again there's an advertisement right now of golden shoes they look just like it they just don't have the t on it and it's from timu Timu is selling it for $17, which means it costs $9 to actually make. And it probably costs $4 to make if you get it directly from China, which is where they're made in the first place. I can't. I mean, he knocked somebody <laughs> else off. He doesn't have a original idea in his head. Everything's knocking somebody else off. The the comments in the chat are great. Vanilla Ice was the code to sign the code. Oh, <laughs> maybe. That makes sense. Kid Rock would wear them. I'm like, oh, my God. Jesus. What's that other idiot? Ted Nugent would probably wear them too. Oh, well, I don't know. They, they might be a little too gay for Ted Nugent. Yeah. I mean, we are talking about the guy that that <laughs> shit his pants and didn't take a shower for how long to not go to the to not get drafted to Vietnam. <laughs> Did that Ted? Mm -hmm. I wonder what his eau de toilets smell like. <laughs> Dale Budweiser, probably. Oh, yeah. Good God. <laughs> so that's all we got for tonight. Thank you so much. It starts with shoes and it ends with shoes. Thank you, um, Lisa, Thank Brandon, Joanne, Carolyn, Catherine, Joanne, Katura, and Mara, in case we missed anybody on the super chats. <laughs> Thank you. And um for the people that I haven't gotten back to you, I'll I just I just need some time um when I'm back to semi-normal. Um but I wanted to thank Vicky for coming on. Anytime you want to come and join us for being petty, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better. I'm getting she better. right in. <laughs> um, next week will be on Johnny's channel. Oh Lord. Uh huh. It, it'll oh, be. Oh, this this Thursday. Calendar. Wait a minute. What's this? I dream of genie. This is not a southern goodbye. Is that a big goodbye after this? Okay, um, this Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, I will be live with Lena Rodriguez and Dave Johnson. Perfect. Mm, wonderful. And, oh, I got to say before I let you guys go, um, I was talking to Johnny and Jenny on text last week, and I was, I was in need of a good laugh because I was just down in the dumps. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you have to watch the movie Strays. You have to. Did you watch it, Johnny? I know, not yet. <laughs> you have to watch the movie Strays. Um, it's it's about these dogs that are strays, and it is hilarious. It's if you are offended easily by language, then don't watch yeah, it. Yeah, if you don't like that language, don't watch it. But it was... <laughs> I was I was in stitches watching that, which I needed. Um, so there's my recommendation for the evening before getting out. All right, everybody. I typed you. it in the chat, but for those who asked about the shirt, it's when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Bye bye. Amen. This time. <laughs> Bye everyone. Hey.